Hi, and welcome to Engineering Essentials AutoCAD Instruction. In this episode, I will be talking about model and layout space. Model space is what we've been working in so far. It is where you create your drawings at a one-to-one -one scale. If you want, it's where you can print your drawings. However, it's much more convenient to print your drawings from layout, or what is known as paper space. It is called paper space because this shows you exactly what will be printed on your paper. What you see on the screen right now is a drawing that fits into a box that's 22 by 17, which is twice the size of a normal 8 and a half, 8, 11 by 8 and a half sheet of paper. Therefore, when you print this drawing, we will need to print it at half scale. Let's enter layout space and take a look around. Let me point out some of the features, starting from the outside. There's a dashed line that goes all the way around. This is your printable space. The size of this printable space changes based on the printer. Inside this dashed border is a solid border. This is your viewport. This viewport lets you see into model space. And you can see inside this viewport border is your model space, the drawing that you created. Now AutoCAD allows you to create different viewports. You can have multiple viewports. We're just going to stick with the one for this demonstration. All right, so before we print a drawing, you usually want to insert a title block. So we'll do that by going to the block panel here and select the insert command. And I've already created a title block, so I'll browse and find that. I'll open it, go OK, and I'm having trouble uh, fitting it where I want to, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit, pan it, and get it right in my printable area, and then zoom all. Oh, having trouble here. Enter. There we go and get it back to the size I want it. Okay, so you'll notice that uh, our drawing is kind of small. We don't want to print it this way. So before we start fooling around with the sizes and getting it to correct scale, I want to make my viewport border a little bigger so uh, we kind of get it out of the way. And once I've activated my viewport, this little area down here in the status bar shows me my viewport scale. So it tells me the scale that I'm viewing everything in my model space at. Right now it's like a nonsense scale. Let's change that scale to one to one. So now everything that I'm looking at is going to be printed out at a one to one scale. Obviously this is too big. Right? We don't want to print it out at that. We know that we need to print this out at a half scale. So let's go ahead and change that to 1 to 2. All right, that's better, but it's off center. So we need to center this. In order to access things in model space from layout space, we need to double click inside our viewport border. So I'm going to double click my left mouse button. And you can see how the viewport border has kind of got a thick solid line now. Now I can pan everything in my model space and get that centered. If I needed to, I could go back into model space and kind of put my drawing uh, closer together and, and get it better. But for now, we're good enough. And to re-enter layout space, I just need to go outside my viewport border and double click again. So I'll do that. And you can see my viewport border has uh, gone back to a thin line and I would be ready to print. Now, personally, I like to turn off or hide my viewport border because I think it's kind of ugly to print with the viewport border, uh, but I will leave that. Uh, for another time. So that's basically layout space. So the important things are the printable area, the viewport border, its scale, 
um, getting access to model space from layout space. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next episode.